Oh, I'm very Mr. Shiny Forehead right now, but hi guys, how are you doing? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome to today's video. I am just filming this on my iPhone because I've got a lot to do today and edit some videos is one of those things. Um, so, and I need to film like intros and outros to some videos. So that's why we're filming on this. So hopefully the quality is not too bad, but Welcome to today's video. Today I am doing a come shop with me around Next and today I went to Next in Wickham, High Wickham. Um, they've got like a big, one of the big purpose built out of town on their own Next, Nexes, Next in um, High Wickham and I've been there a few times and the only reason why I went in there on a Saturday afternoon when it wasn't actually particularly busy actually, I have to say, this Costa in there was and I walked through there to get into there but the men's section, the homeware section wasn't actually that busy. Um, I am from the intro after the fact that I've been. Um, yeah, so I went there because I went to the cinema which is next door um, or across the road um, to see Downton Abbey. Um, saw that, um, well, went to the five guys that were there, then went in next, then went into the cinema so thought kill some time by going into next my neck oh my god my neck is like killing me today because I dried it and my towel must have been really rough because it hurts but that is by the by today we are going to go around the men's section in next um I haven't been in this next in a while it's been a uh, some time I don't think I've been in there pre-pandemic like post-pandemic you know since before 2020 basically um and to be honest the men's section was quite smaller than I remembered but anyway we're gonna hit the next in Wickham to see what they've got so here's next in Wickham it's now got mamas and papas and like a garden centre by home base but we're gonna be looking at the menswear today lots of like polo shirt style tops even well Ones that are full button down, ones that are normal button down, the ones that are zipped down. So lots of different variations of that. I quite like that one I just showed you with the blue with the white stripes. Quite nice. And all around like the 24 to 30 pound marks and just plain ones here. These are 22. They're just basic ones or more basic ones. Um, yeah, so how much is this one? This one's 32 for a bit more design. This was quite nice, like a knitted kind of cable knit um t-shirt thing 26 pound for that um a bit fred perry-esque a knitted polo here as well 30 pounds and they've got some these are the only cable knit like sweater vests that they had or knitted sweater vests they had and um, there's just two one in a blue 26 pound and then one in a khaki olive kind of green color the blue one is actually quite nice the cable knit's really nice but we're kind of moving out of that season now I guess um this one was a bit interesting trying to be like Fred Perry with like the like logo on the sign not sure about that that was 16 pounds more polo shirts here just some more um basic ones and I think we've seen that green one a lot this is a bit of me it's like pastel colors and everything really like that that's 14 pound I actually really like that um more like polo shirts these ones haven't got buttons on the collar but I really like that because that's my favorite color obviously 28 pound um this shirt was quite nice as well quite fun 32 pounds I swear that brand use is like a John Lewis brand or something I swear I don't know maybe it's its own brand this um, stretch Oxford shirt, £20 was really nice as well. Um, this is really nice, similar to something we saw in the Primark wall, with, Primark Come Shop With Me, which I'll leave linked up the top. Um, and there only seem to be one of those, actually. As you know, I think there is a few more. Um, and then we've got some more, like, it's if you love a polo shirt, next is the place to go. That's got some, like, I thought that was houndstooth, but it's not. Um, this one I think I've seen a lot, like, online, um, and in store um see they all range around the 28 to 32 pound mark for this kind of stuff um that's i feel like we saw that earlier over the other side of the store hmm. okay moving on to some summary shirts now 30 pound for this which actually i really liked that that one not so much but not really my cup of tea but the first one was really quite nice actually um and then they've got like that brand again, but in this print, which is quite nice, like a tealy colour, 32 for that. 
um, and then we're going to move on to some shorts and they've got a quite good deal on the shorts that is the deal that they've got where you can get free for a 51 pounds i say quite a good deal that is like a deal they're doing where you can save a bit of money but not a lot really in the selection really so as i was saying in the intro i feel like for how big that store is and i know it's predominantly well women's wear stuff downstairs but predominantly the main focus i guess of the store is home really i suppose it's equally split between home and fashion but men's wear it could have been bigger to be honest i feel like the one in milton Keynes in the center is bigger in terms of the stock they have but they've obviously got a much smaller home section especially considering they've now got a beauty and home store in next in Milton Keynes but yeah so and also I thought I, I was thinking there isn't really much here there's not them got a lot of stuff really and a lot of nice stuff either I really felt like and I went I did an M&S come shop with me the other day I really feel like M&S was putting it out of the park a bit more than Next would be and I could see them I would see Next as a bit more fashionable as M&S but maybe maybe that's changed um because they're kind of middle of the round middle of the ground middle of the road I was going to say I don't know what I was going to say middle ground slash middle of the road stores in my opinion um nothing too exciting but I feel like some of the pieces were quite nice actually thinking about it I went yesterday and filming after the fact had been um some of the stuff they had was fairly nice and but I felt I felt like Next was actually a bit more exciting in terms of what they had to offer and that that and that next door didn't have. I'm all over the place and I need to film some more videos. So um yeah let me know down below what your thoughts of Next are. I do want to I really want to go to the next in Watford because the Watford one is now what they're calling the first next department store um because that is a next it was origin well originally it was Debenhams yeah when the new bit of the Harlequin I'm still going to call it that I can't even know I can't even remember what it's called now it's not into you or into anymore it's some random name but it's in where old child's place used to be basically if you've been to going to Watford like I have since I was little um yeah so it was Debenhams it's now it was a next beauty and home um so it was just that and now it's opened as a big next beauty and home but also all the other bits of next with a Victoria's Secret attached to it because it owns the Victoria's Secret stuff in the UK next does with a mamas and papas inside because next own mamas and papas now and also a bath and body works inside as well like a proper full-on concession not like the one in Milton Keynes which is literally a stand um like a full-on concession from the video that I've watched of the um next walkthrough of the store so it looks massive and it looks really good so I do want to go and venture over there at some point and check that out because otherwise the nearest big ones to me are in Wickham and Milton Keynes and I, I do those to death so I want to try and have a look at the Watford one because to me that's quite exciting but there we go but yeah let me know your thoughts down below on next um if you're not already please take a moment to subscribe as I'm filming this yesterday or the day before we hit 2000 so hopefully it doesn't go down now but thank you so much for that thank you so much for that let's try and get to free <laughs> joking but um yeah it's so nice so thank you for subscribing but if you're not already subscribed we do a lot of come shop with me's on this channel lots of hauls um lots of um like food hauls we do and we also do too good to go back so if that's your jam then definitely hit the subscribe button down below and i shall see you in the next video which after this I think might be a house of Fraser come shop with me which is a bit okay um and a haul so definitely subscribe for that um follow my Instagrams down below as well and I shall see you in the next one bye